Hello everyone, I'm Lord Squirrel and I'm here to do another tutorial. Last time I did a tutorial it was on how to do face sets in RPG Maker MV's face generator. And I don't know why I just clicked on it, but yes, I did this. But Kurt, but recently people have been asking me, how the heck do you do plugins? For those of you who don't know, plugins are what RPG Maker MV uses to basically input scripts. Scripts from scripts are basically functions for games that you can make your own by yourself. So with the default RPG Maker, it is a turn-based, no matter what side if you use side view or front view. But you can turn it into ATB, which would be action time based, which would be which you would give you like a um a bar like from Final Fantasy that fills up and once that fills up you can make a move or I can give you CTB which is um, I forget the exact term for it, but basically it gives everyone a action point per that per turn so each turn is every is actually everyone taking a, is actually everyone taking an action but one other thing you can do is just add little menu options um, little fixes, little additions, that kind of stuff. But the main question is, how do you do it? Well, I'm going to tell you. First off, you need a map and you need some you need some plugins. Luckily, when you first get RPG Maker MV, there will be plenty of plugins. Because when you get it, and let me open this up. When you get it on Steam, you have to go... This is how you're going to find your... Um, plugins when you first get when you first get it when you have it on steam you have to go to your program files steam steam apps and then common then you want to find rpg maker mv and for those of you who don't know exactly how to get to that you go to my pc or local disk drive one of the two then you look for program files. I have an eighty an X eighty six. I'm not sure if that's the same for everyone, but that's how mine is. Then you go down to Steam. Then uh, I lost it. Then Steam apps, and then Common. Then you go down until you find RPG Maker MV. Now you're here. Then you want to go to DLC. And then you want to go to base resources. Wait, wrong one. Um, RPG Maker MV, RPG Maker Web underscore plugins. Sorry about that. Then you'll have access to quite a few art, to a bunch of, um, bunch of plugins from a bunch of different, fairly famous um, scripters from the previous RPG makers, like Yanfly, Arkia, Shaz, Yami, and Zeriab. Also Neon Black, who is also awesome. But today we're just going to go with the Anfly because his are the most use or some of the more useful and modular um, plugins. So, all of the plugins uh, allow me to get rid of this. Be gone. All of the plugins are done in JavaScript files. Why is it using JavaScript? Because JavaScript is the coding language for RPG Maker MV. Now you can see right here we have a whole bunch of stuff. All of it's kind of confusing. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to get the the Yep Core Engine. You're just going to put this in for right now. This works with all plugins. You just you just have to find it, copy it, and then you want to go to Documents. Again, this is on this is on Windows, and this is if you have the Steam version. If you bought it off of RPG Maker and if you bought it off of the RPG Maker webs, you're gonna have to check someone else's tutorial, and I'll probably link one that I'll link one that does how to do it in. <clears throat> sorry, I'll link one on how to do it in if you have if you got it off of webs and how to do it if you got it on on Mac. I'm not sure if you can get this on Linux. So I apologize if I don't have something for that, because I'm pretty sure it isn't on there. But anyway, you want to look for your games um, folder when you're in documents. Find the project. I'm using project 2. And then you want to go to 
JS. This will bring you to this little thing right here. JS is in the projects is in the main project folder, just letting you know. Then you want to go to plugins. I already have a few set, slotted in here, and I think a few of these will actually be slotted in by default just for you to uh, mess around with. But now what you want to do is Oh, not new. Um, you want to paste. And then that's really all you have to do aside from one other thing. You have to go into here and click on this plugin ma manager icon, which is these two, like, puzzle pieces up here. I'm not exactly sure why they went with that, but they did. Then you want to double click here. And you want to click here. And then you want to click on the Yep Core, because Yep Core will now show. And then you have it done. Basically what the Yep Core does is it lets you change a bunch of very basic things, like it lets you change maximums for gold, font sizes, um, default, um, ma default maximum for items, because in RPG Maker MV your default for everything is 99. So 99 is your max level, 99 is your max, is the maximum amount of any one item you can carry that kind of thing. It also lets you change your animation rate which speeds up how fast your animations play in combat or just throughout the game in general. If you don't know what, gener what animations are, comment about it and I'll do a tutorial about it at some point. Anyway, then it also does digits grouping, digit grouping which basically it does what it says right here group together digits with a comma instead of because with the default in RPG Maker MV it does not have the comma uh, I forgot to actually save it okay there we go then once you've actually said okay then you hit apply but I'm gonna change one well I'm gonna start the the program real quick and show you guys what it looks like and then I'm gonna make a change and then show you guys what it looks like afterwards okay starting up Okay, nice and simple. Then we're going to go back into here. We're going to change the screen length and width. Uh, 1080. Seven twenty. Yes, we're going to go HD with this thing. So, let's do save again. Again, you have to get into the core, and if you're wondering what these are, these are um, these parameters are parameters that the scripter or plugin maker puts in by themselves. And most plugins also come with a helpful little help section, like this. And when you first put a when you first install a plugin, you have to turn its status to on. I apologize for not doing that immediately. My mind is just bouncing all over the place and HD. Now it does create some slight black bars and the reason why it's so black there is because we... <clears throat> the reason why there's a lot of black bars around that is because it was displaying far out from the maximum width of this from the maximum width of this um, map. But yeah, that's basically how it works and we'll install one more just to show you guys. Um, well, we actually already have the one in there. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what the default menu looks like. End game menu, that is. That is the default menu. Looks like this. But, I'm going to go in here. Oops. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go down to alternate menu screen. Apply, turn on. That kind of stuff, then hit OK. Then, we're going to go back into it. Then, new menu screen. It's really that simple. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you. Uh, I'll try and find a tutorial, like video tutorial, or a written tutorial, that tells you how to do it in for Mac. And I basically, if you're doing it from art, if you're doing it from the RPG Maker Web's version, you just have to find where you put your um, 
sorry. You just have to find where you put your RPG Maker MV program, like when you installed it, where you put it, the main folder. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it wasn't helpful, let me know and tell me what I did that wasn't helpful, and then I'll try and improve on future tutorials. And have a very, very nice day. Goodbye.